Hello, and welcome back to the Wells Family Journey channel. I'm Damien. Today, I just want to talk about uh, getting back in shape. All right. I'll talk to you about that after these brief seconds. All right, hey, welcome back to the Wells Family Journey. Once again, I'm Damien. Uh, if you're still with me, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you can get updates of future videos as I post them. I'm try still trying to get in the rhythm of getting these things done. I had a little exodus about a month ago from doing videos, but I'm back at it again, and I'm here, you know, and I'm still trying to do good content, uh, better quality videos uh, for you. Uh, so one thing I, I do want to try and do is a an uplifting, I want to say phrase, or, you know, just some uplifting words at the beginning or at the end of my videos. So I've been holding on to this for, for a while. Now, it, it, rang, it rang true to me. You know, I, I felt it right here. So... Let me just uh, let me just uh, tell you this one, okay? All right, here we go. I don't know who wrote it, uh, but I found it on a friend's Facebook uh, Facebook uh, posting, and I was like, I felt that, so I'm going to pass this on to you. All right. I was toxic to some, and of course, here comes the train. I was toxic to some. I was a blessing to others. I healed others and others I hurt. I'm willing to admit that I wasn't always right. And every day I'm striving to be better. I like that. So my wonderful neighborhood train. Here we go. It's a short train. So my wonderful neighborhood train always wants to go through when I'm trying to do YouTube videos. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh. So, excuse all the movement. Uh, got, got another chair here, so I'm trying to get used to it. And I'm trying to get used to the angle and positioning of this camera and this lens. So, uh, about a month ago, I started a, a weight, I won't even say a weight loss journey, but I started a weight management journey again uh i i gained about 40 to 45 pounds during the covid year which was what 2020 right and you know i'm just looking at myself and i'm just like man at the beginning of 2020 i was uh i was like 215 217 and i was looking good you know i was going to the gym i was exercising and then when that happened you know all the gyms closed down Depression set in. I didn't want to do nothing. I started eating, started drinking way more beer and uh, whiskey sours than I should, you know, and, you know, just all packed back on. And I was like, I went through too much hard work, too many surgeries, too many diets just to have all this weight come back on me again. And like the main reason why I, I went through all this was, you know, to control my weight and to get my weight off so that my heart can, can be better, can do better, you know what I'm saying, pump better for me and everything like that. So that being said, you know, I, I did a little soul searching uh, a little over a month ago and I was like, I'm ready for this weight to come back off again. So I started going back to the gym, uh, started eating healthier. You know, I still have my, I still have my Burger King and my fast food here and there, uh, I'm really, really trying to get that down to about two to three times a week for starters. Then I can try and taper that off to about hopefully once a month, if that. But uh, so, yeah, and then, you know, the next thing is the beer. I, I love beer. I love Coors Light. I find that nice and refreshing at the end of a long day's work. You know, you just get yourself a beer out the freezer 
pop one open, sit on your couch and, you know, do whatever you need to do and relax, you know. But I need to, I need to slow down the beer as well. So I'm working on that. But, uh, like I said, I started working out and this video is basically just telling you that I'm committing myself to do, to do better, to strive to make myself better. Kind of like my, my, my uplifting sayings. I don't know if you can read them, but, um, this one says, be kind, be thoughtful, be brave, be happy, be unique, and be yourself. And this one says, embrace uncertainty. Some of the most beautiful chapters of your lives, of, excuse me, of our lives won't have a title until much later. And I got one back there, which I can't read at the moment. But, uh, yeah. So, it's time for changes, you know. This is uh, August of 2021. And I'm ready for all this junk that's going on out, out there to be over with. I'm ready to start traveling again, you know, and getting more sunshine than what, what I already have here in, in Washington State. Because, what, we only get like a month, two months worth of sun every year. So I'm, I'm ready to change that up as well. So with that being said, I need to get my, my health back in order. So I started I started going back to the gym. I, I went and got myself a membership to Planet Fitness. Now, I used to be part of LA Fitness, but I had to... I decided to stop going there because, uh, uh, don't quote me on this, but uh, I originally was a member of LA Fitness because of the saunas and the hot tubs. I love hot tubs. Uh, matter of fact, you know, for my birthday, which was a couple of days ago, I just wanted to go somewhere and just chill in a hot tub, you know. I don't care. I, I want to rent me a hotel room, chill in a hot tub for a couple hours, sleep in a nice fat pillow top <laughs> mattress bed and just treat myself to a day of rest and relaxation but unfortunately it didn't happen you know <laughs> uh the reason why it didn't happen was because i recently just took over the, the position of morning cook at, at the american vets where i work at in tacoma and uh i wound up working on my birthday well I, i'm sorry i was scheduled to work on my birthday but Things got things got mixed around. Uh, they canceled that. The building was closed. And funny thing was, I wound up having to get a COVID test on my birthday. Happy birthday to me, right? What what an amazing gift that I had to go get a COVID test. Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I am vaxxed. You know, as soon as it came out, I went and got it done. Yeah. I was one of those rabbits. I just had to hop onto it. So when that when the VA was like, "Oh, we have openings in the Pfizer vaccine," this and that, I jumped on it and I got it done. Fully vaxxed, you know. I'm I'm ready to go. Ripping, ripping and roaring and ready to go. I'm ready for vacations. I'm ready to get back in shape. And when I set my mind to something, I, I usually achieve it. And I'm at that point. It's time. Long overdue, right? So getting back to my health, uh, yeah, so I just started eating healthier, uh, started eating more salads uh, during the day. Uh, I know salads are only healthy as far as what you put on them and add to them. So I was mainly doing like uh, chef salads, right? Uh, carrots, cucumbers, onions, uh, threw a little bit of peppers in it. I've cut back on the cheese that I, I started adding to it. I really cut back. I I don't even think I even add cheese anymore. If I do, it's like a little bit of sprinkled Parmesan. And But my main problem is I like to add croutons and I like to add creamed salad dressings, which I need to start going away, but I love that crunchiness of the crouton. But I'm going to get away from croutons and start doing vinaigrette, light vinaigrette dressings, because the diet vinaigrette dressing tastes like crap <laughs> so so that that is that and you know later on in future videos uh i'm going to lose my shyness and show this sexy body that i got yeah all 245 pounds of this sexiness here i'm gonna i'm gonna show on camera so if you like big 
guys with father bods, uh, this next video is coming up might be for you. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to to do that and you know just show you, I guess, the progress week to week because I don't think if I if I try and do a video of me what I look like after the gym every single day it's not I guess gonna have a an impact but uh yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and uh drink more water than what I already am I'm just a little over half a gallon a day now to some of you that might not be a lot but to me that is a lot so I'm trying to get back to a gallon a day but man drinking water is hard even when you add those those sugarless, calorie, calorie-less uh, additives to it, this water still just, it just, I don't know. I like bubbles. <laughs> and no, I don't like drinking uh, seltzer water either. But you know what I'm talking about. I like soda. And diet sodas, that's not good for you either, from what I'm told. But yeah, so that's what this video is about. It's just uh, me explaining to you this path excuse me, past month, I've been focusing more on myself, uh, my happiness, my weight management, and just in general, trying to lift clouds away from me because uh, in Washington, we don't get a lot of sun. So with the sun, a little bit of sun that we get, I like to get out, enjoy the weather, you know, go out, go out to eat see the water, just relax. Like I, I told my, told my kids, I was like, for my birthday, I just want to go out. I want to go into the forest and disappear and come back like the next day or two later, get lost and do something like that. And I did that one day and, you know, I just drove out to the forest and I sat there for quite a few hours and I came back, you know, and I really didn't do much. And uh, you know what? I should have taken my, my video cameras and, and vlogged that, but I didn't. I think I just wanted to be disconnected for a little bit. and But it was amazing. You know, the birds was chirping. It was a beautiful hot day. It was hot that day. I think it was, man, I think, yeah, I think it was in the low 90s, close to mid 90s. So it was hot, but man, I enjoyed it. I uh, did a little bit of uh, walking, a little bit of uh, walking trails that we have here uh, in, my, in, my, in my city, Lacey, Washington. So I did did a trail while I was out, out there in the woods, and yeah, it was fun, and like, I'm not a, a outdoor outdoorsy person, but this was actually interesting, you know, just getting away, disconnecting for a little bit, is very therapeutic, it's good for, good for your soul, good for your mind, you know, but, uh, so yeah, so this is just the start of my, I wouldn't say fitness journaling, but just another way for me to keep myself grounded and on that straight path to getting back in shape because I th I feel that without me having you all and someone to to constantly be there to be like don't eat that Snickers bar don't go to Burger King don't go to Chick-fil-a you know stay away from Popeye's and Church's Chicken I'm going to be doing that, you know, so I need you all as viewers to also help me, you know, send me encouraging words, leave, leave a like, dislike, a comment on, on it, you know, any of my videos will be great, you know, just let me know, uh, but don't leave negative comments or derogatory comments on my, on my videos, and you know the ones I'm talking about. Let's not be haters and mean to each other. Let's support everyone. Let's support YouTubers out there, even the ones that you don't agree with. You know, support them. If you don't agree with them, just don't watch the channel. Simple as that, okay? So, this video has been long enough. Uh, thanks for sticking with it. And if you're still with me, hey, hit that, hit that like button, okay? And if you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button too. Let me know that, that, that you're watching, you're interested, and hey, give me a couple pointers as well. If there's a topic that you'd like me to uh, talk about, let me know. All right, just leave a comment. Leave a comment. All right, so hit that like button, hit that, or hit that dislike button, 
Hit that bell notification and leave a comment. And as always, be good, be kind to each and every one. You get a chance to help somebody out, do it. Because it will make you feel better and it will also make them feel better at the end of the day. Alright, I'll see you on next video. And thank you for watching.